Sons and Daughters of God for January 6th. The reading is entitled, That Power is Given Us to Become the Sons of God. The scripture reading is taken from John 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Divine sonship is not something that we gain of ourselves. Only to those who receive Christ as their Savior is given the power to become sons and daughters of God. The sinner cannot, by any power of his own, rid himself of sin. For the accomplishment of this result, he must look to a higher power. John exclaimed, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Christ alone has power to cleanse the heart. He who is seeking for forgiveness and acceptance can say only, Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. But the promise of sonship is made to all who believe on his name. Everyone who comes to Jesus in faith will receive pardon. The religion of Christ transforms the heart. It makes the worldly-minded man heavenly-minded. Under its influence, the selfish man becomes unselfish, because this is the character of Christ. The dishonest, scheming man becomes upright, so that it is second nature to him to do to others as he would have others do to him. The profligate is changed from impurity to purity. He forms correct habits, for the gospel of Christ has become to him a savor of life unto life. God was to be manifest in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Man had become so degraded by sin that it was impossible for him, in himself, to come into harmony with him whose nature is purity and goodness. But Christ, after having redeemed man from the condemnation of the law, could impart divine power to unite with human effort. Thus, by repentance toward God and faith in Christ, the fallen children of Adam might once more become sons of God. When a soul receives Christ, he receives power to live the life of Christ. Thank you for listening.